it's Jenny here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing my November TBR. So it is already November 2nd so I'm a little bit behind but I have already started some reads. Um, so on my TBR I have 10 books. I originally had about 13 but I kind of narrowed it down to the ones that I really wanted to get to the most and kind of fit the mood that I'm in which is literally mystery and or fantasy um so every single one of these is fantasy whoops um so to be honest I you'd normally think that I could get through this I mean I read seven books in October and this is only 10 books because I'm slowly coming out of my reading slump. But I don't know. There are some pretty big books here. But I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get right into this. So the first book that I want to read in November um, is one that I already started. I started it today. And that is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. This is book three in the Stocking Jack the Ripper series. So obviously, hence the title. Um... Stalking Jack the Ripper took place during the Ripper murders in London, um, and so, yeah. Second book was Hunting Prince Dracula, and that took place in Romania, and now they are on a cruise ship heading to the States. Yeah. And basically, this just follows a badass um, female in the 19th century, 18th century. Um, let's see here. Yep, 1800s, who is highly interested in the forensic sciences, which was frowned upon. And so she is studying forensic science, um, and it's just a really cool story. I love it, and I'm, I'm already really liking this. Um, I just started it today. I haven't had much time to read it, so I'm only on page 30, but the first murder has already happened, so I'm pretty pumped to that's how it's going to go. But I'm super sad because I just discovered that my book was ripped and that's a sad day. But this is the first book I plan to read. And then the next book I'm kind of reading at the same time as Escaping from Houdini is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. This is a pretty short book and no, I have not picked it up physically. I'm, I'm, I just downloaded the audiobook on Scribd. Um, and I think I'm going to listen to it whenever I can't read physically. And I'm really excited for this. Um, it's just a Frankenstein retelling. And I'm really excited for this. Like, I'm pumped. I've heard a lot of good things. And it just seems so intriguing. And the cover is beautifully, morbidly beautiful. Beautifully? It's morbidly beautiful. So, yeah. The next book that I need to get to for the month of November is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This is the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series. Um, it takes place the same time as Empire of Storms, only it follows different characters. So this is taking place on the southern continent, I believe. Yes, the southern continent between Kale, Nazrin, and Irene. And yeah, Kale, Nazrin, Irene. And I'm super, I would say I'm super excited, but to be honest, I'm kind of dreading it. Because Kale's not my favorite character, and uh, I'm just kind of nervous that I'm not going to like it. Um, but I need to get through it so I can read Tower, uh, Kingdom of Ash, and that's my main goal. My goal is to be able to put Kingdom of Ash in my December TBR. <sighs> So that I can read, have read the whole entire Throne of Glass series in 2018. So yeah, this is book six. I'm sure you guys know what Tower uh, Throne of Glass is about. I've ranted and rave, raved about Sarah J. Mass enough on this channel. Yeah. So that's yeah. Next book I want to get to in November is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This is the prequel novella to the series. Um, this is all the novellas. Um, I'm pr pretty sure there are five. 
Yep, the Assassin on the Pirate Lord, the Assassin on the Healer, Assassin of the Desert, Assassin on the Underworld, Assassin on the Empire. So I'm kind of really intrigued to see Selena's background. Um, and I am, yeah, I can't wait to get to this one. I think this one I will like because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Alright, next for November is Two Dark Reigns by Kendar Blake. This is the book three in the Three Dark Crown series, and I'm so pumped to get back into the series. Um, I originally had to force myself not to pick it up when I first got it, <sighs> and now it's high time that I finally let myself read it, so I'm pretty excited. Because book two left off on such a cliffhanger, holy moly. The next book I want to pick up is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. Um, this is Shauna McGuire's pen name. Um, and yeah, this basically deals with um, sea monsters and um, like a mystery thriller in the Mariana Trench. And I was highly, highly interested in this. Um, when Brittany the Bibliophile talked about it on her channel, it just sounded so good and I bought it instantly as soon as she talked about it i went on amazon and brought and bought it so i really want to get to this it is available on ebook so yes next i really want to get to sky in the deep by adrian young this is a viking retelling i believe uh part wonder woman part vikings and all heart and this is a pretty short book too, um, and it is available on audio, so I think I'm going to try to go the audio route for this. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Alright, next is a book that I finally want to get to from May, and that is Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I know you guys are probably smacking me because I've had this on my TBR for like ever. I've had this on every TBR video since it came out. But I finally want to get to it. Hopefully, I'm not going to hold myself to it because, I don't know, it's more whim It's more of a whimsical fantasy rather than like a dark fantasy. So, <sighs> let's just hope I can finally get through it this month because I really, really want to. It's just my moods have been all over the place. Oh, that is book two in the Caraval series, by the way. The next book I want to read is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, this is basically an Achilles retelling, and I've heard that it is very good and very sad. So, I love Greek mythology. I literally live for it. Um, and Danielle told me this was super good, and I've heard a lot of people really love it. I actually haven't heard one negative thing about this, so I'm super excited to pick this up. Which leads me to the final book on my TBR, which is Circe by Madeline Miller. They are in no way companions or really sequels. They both just deal with Greek mythology. This obviously follows Circe, the sorceress from mythology, and her backstory. And once again, I'm just obsessed with Greek mythology. Um, and as soon as I heard about these books, I tried my hardest to get my hands on them. End pages, beautiful. So, I'm pretty excited to get to this. I haven't heard much about Circe as much as I have about Song of Achilles, but that's because this book is really expensive and kind of hard to get a hold of. It's kind of why I snagged it during the 50% off sale on Barnes & Noble. But, that, yeah. I have a really good selection of books here and I'm really excited to get to all of them. Um, I hope I can finally meet a TBR goal. Ever since my slump, it's been really hard for me to meet the goals of my TBR. I mean, I pretty much stick to them. It's just hard for me to read them all. Like, I can stick to it and read only the books on my TBR, but sometimes I can't read them all, and I really want to try to read all of these um, this month in November. But I have a really great selection to hopefully lead me to be able to read them all. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you're reading any of these books in November or just what you're planning on reading first in November in general because I would love to hear. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.